the big question. Are ghosts real? Oh, oh my god! Red blood! I do, dude, this place oh is god. crazy active. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Could you give us a sign? Oh, oh couple! couple, couple. Easy oh. box. No way. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. What is going on explorers? In today's episode of Beyond the Dark, we are here in the Black Forest of Germany. And right above me is Gallows, where 15 people were executed and 12 of them being from witchcraft. Now it is a very cold night here in the Black Forest. It's always gray and cloudy here, always mysterious and always spooky. What we are doing in today's episode is we are getting a tent and we are camping and pitching it right under where the 15 people were executed. We're gonna have a fire and we're gonna just spend the night here. Now the history here dates way back to the 17th century when the people found an old map of the town that was here. And they said on the town where they drew gallows and it indicated and drew this area exactly. So that's how they knew this is where the gallows even were. And obviously when the 15 people were died and executed, the people of the town wrote them and documented them so that everyone would know for the history. Anything can happen here. There's tr there's trolls documented here. There's werewolves documented here. Uh, there there's ghosts, black witch rules. Th it's spooky. Hansel and Gretel. The story came from here. A lot of people tie this place with a lot of mystery. And back in then, the reason why they even call this the Black Forest is because back then the Roman Empire, when they all came here, the Romans. They couldn't actually go into the forest because of how dense it was and dark. So they call this the Black Forest because of how mysterious it was. Now, before we begin investigating the gallows and ghost hunting here, obviously you can hear there are still a lot of cars coming by this road. We need to be dark. We need to hear. We're ghost hunting. We want to hear everything around us. And when there's no cars out, we'll be able to pitch our tent and stay and listen for the rest of the night. Now, there are trails that go spookily down, spookily down there. Again, guys, give us a big shout out. We are trying hard to create new content and explore places that no one in the world has ever been. We are here in the Black Forest of Journey and we are the first to do a proper investigation all around here. So give us some help, some props. We're going hard. And guys, if you think I'm lying, on here is the information I just said to you over there. Look at down here. This is what I did not know. The bodies of the hanged were buried next to the gallows by the Triburb Executor. And there's his name. Right here. Somewhere here. One of the things that's weird is when we got here, we found this coat just sitting here on the tree, swaying in the wind. And there's, it's, it's, oh, sh there's spiders on the coat. It's been here for a while though. Which I don't understand. Why would someone just leave their coat here? Definitely a little creepy. Right after that sequence, my microphone audio did not record. I realized this after we started setting up the tent. Guys, right, so we have got the tent up. So we are gonna be here all night tonight. What do you think is gonna happen? Well, because of all the bodies that used to be hung from here and we're sleeping looking up at it, I mean, that's kind of nuts. 
mean if, if residual energy I said it's a lot but this is stone that's gonna hold memory in the quartz crystal if it's got any context inside it the residual energy if that triggers somehow we still don't know how we could end up with half bodies dangling into our tent I'm just saying no going it's... off like the York theory so I don't know I think we're gonna make contact with something here no no 100% tonight is the night I feel it you know usually when I when I do ghost hunts and I have a good feeling like this is one of these I have like I have a great feeling a lot of activity is gonna happen I mean this is something so unique and different I mean we're pitching a tent where 15 bodies were hung from I mean even when we're inside we're gonna be looking up at it and use your imagination really quick I mean it's pretty crazy already something was happening with my camera I had no sound for all the parts where I was talking over there um, I don't even know if if my editor is even adding that in now but I had no sound for the whole time of pitching the tent and showing it happening over here now really quick guys check this out I mean look at that that's our night tonight that it is just weird and strange to even look to think that we're we're gonna be pitching and sleeping under there I mean we're gonna have a fire soon this is all happening right now I wonder if the fire is gonna make like the spirits mad or okay. I mean, I don't know. Think That's about it, right? Because obviously, it, like witches were, were like set on fire, burning at stake, right? Yeah. And obviously, some were hung. So it's just so like. I'm not, yeah, like I know if we're in Salem and we did this, it would probably like affect them with the fire. Yeah. But I don't know if this affects them here because they were they weren't really with the fire, so it's hard to say. Pretty chill though. Camping in haunted places ain't so bad. This wood smells good too. It does. It smells really good. It's that German wood. German wood, yeah. The, the black forest wood smells super good. It's very peaceful now. It seems the wind has now stopped, which is amazing for us as well, with the cars coming back less too, so great time to be out and you can't and what's good about being in the black forest is besides us there's no one else ever out here unless there's like bears or wolves or trolls or ghosts or whatever else is out there and then you can't see anything there's only villages around here for miles and miles and miles just little villages the population here is not that big there's no pollution in the light you can see everything above you around you um, well, if the, you know, the stars are out, but if not, then yeah, it's just pitch black, black darkness everywhere, black forest. That's it. Oh, <laughs> Dude, honestly though, I just feel like when we're in the black forest, it just feels like we're in like a uh, Skyrim. No, it does. Like we're in Skyrim, we're camping in the black forest and I don't know, it's just something sick, bro. I don't think we can actually sit on here, it's not even that wet. No, it's dry now. It's dry here. Oh. So first thing first, we need the water to boil it to make the pasta. And I don't cook either or make fires or pitch tents, but that's what I was saying before my stuff got cut off and I was trying to show us making the tent. That's why we got Dan here to help us make all this stuff happen. I'm teaching him. Carl's helping, he assisted on that. Oh, yeah, he poured it. He poured some of the stuff That was a double pour, do you yeah. see that? Yeah. Yeah, he did good. It's it next to it. So how, you think that will help boil it from being over here? It'll warm it up, and then once it, once it turns to embers, then we'll sit it on top and it'll boil, and we can you put could, the pasta in. I've got a sieve and stuff, so. Good, good. That's nice and warm. So we can. Right. So I just feel like if we go like that. Oh! All right, yeah. All right. <laughs> Josh, I'm just gonna leave right. it. Note to everyone, don't let Josh touch the pans. I can't touch or do nothing. I'm just you. here to support, dude. Moral support. <laughs> I'm a jester. Or a juggler clown. What was that? That was like oh, a... Was oh, a oh, oh, it yeah, popped from the heat. I almost thought it was a knock over there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's weird because like you guys see clearly, but we don't. We see what's right in front of us. Everything else is black. Dude, actually, you're right. We only see this, this little circle with yeah. the flames. Yeah. 
Damn, we really are in complete darkness. That's a scary thing. I wonder if I can show the camera that. I want to show you guys. Let's take your light off. Yeah, I'll have to shut the light off so you guys can only see. I mean, literally, that's what we're seeing. This little aura. And look what's out, nothing. We can't see either. So when I'm taking you guys with me on this raw adventure, this is all we're seeing too. So, seeing as always sat around the fire, we, we got about half an hour for the food. He fancy telling a scary story. I'm down. Yeah, man. We're I liked our time last time we did it. Yeah, Sto yeah. story time under the haunted gallows right now. Dang. <laughs> you can't get mean? better than this. You know what I mean? You know Who's telling mean? haunted stories on the gals and camping here? Do you know what I'm saying? I know, no, we gotta tell a story. Yeah. Well, I went first last time, so at the Midnight Society, it goes in order. And, and are you free of the dark? Yeah, true. So, maybe I need, it's... I need to think about what story I'm gonna tell this time. Mine's good. Mine's... I never told this one to anyone, so it's a good one. You mm. got it. You it's quick. Story? I'll think of something. Unless, unless I just go first while you're thinking. See what you go first because yeah. because we've already done this a few times, so we're running out yeah. of stories, like original stories to tell. So I need to think about what I want to. Oh, actually, I think I know. All right, well I'm gonna tell you guys one right now. All right. So when I was 14 years old, my parents were finally let me. I, I think I was 12 or something. My parents would let me kind of stay home alone now. I was good. You know, I didn't have to be there with my parents anymore. They would kind of go off. And I had a brother as well. He was, uh, well, he, <laughs> it sounds like he's dead. No, <laughs> I, have, I have a brother as well. And he is now, I forget how old he is, but at the time he was like eight or something. I don't remember. Whatever, that sounds horrible. But the point is, he's younger. He was my younger brother. I'm over there. I'm 14 now, 13. And we had this room. My, my, my room used to have a back door. And one time, my brother and everyone, everyone left. Well, no, one time everyone left except me and my brother. And so we're hearing like this, this doorknob turn and try to turn and it was, tr it was trying to like open. Like someone's trying to open the door and break in. So I'm like, oh, what, which doorknob is it? It was so loud, the whole house was hearing it. I was in my living room. So I ran into the kitchen, no, I'm still hearing it. Then I knew it was from my room. I go in my room and in the back of the doorknob was like trying to turn so as if someone was breaking in, but there's no lock on that door. So anyone can, can, can open it. Wow. It was just turning, shaking. Wow. Yeah, and I was 14, 13, 12, whatever, and I was like, what's going on? Like, why is, why is that doorknob shaking? And I was just laughing, because I, I didn't know. And my brother was laughing too. We were just like, whatever, and then it just stopped. And I told my parents about it, but they didn't believe me. And then, dude, this is when I started to really believe in ghosts to the fullest, and my old friend uh, from the Exploring Crew, John Uray, John, Exploring with John, he was there, well, well kinda. So everyone left, it's now just me. I'm like 16, 17 years old and I'm taking a piss in the bathroom. Like back in the day, I was, I was like kind of like freaked out of ghost stuff. Even though I didn't technically believe it, I was still freaking myself out. I'd turn the lights on in my whole house. It was just me. All my lights are on when I'm by myself. So I'm taking a piss. Dude, I opened up the door after I took my piss. All the lights were off. All of them. Swear on my life. Dude, I ran to John's house, got him and I got a cross. And we went back to my house and I'm holding a cross around and freaked out. Whoa. And I didn't, I didn't even do ghost stuff or not. I was just freaked out super young with my bro, with, my, with John. And we looked around my house and there was no one there. So I don't know what happened. Those are real ghost stories from my old house. And that yeah. was it. Yeah. Okay. That's a freaky business yep. right there, man. Right. Sweet. Yeah. Damn, you yeah. never told me that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah, just, yeah. What, it's just what? little stories I grew up with that made me, and that's why I'm kind of open a little bit to where like, oh, I just wanted to see if ghosts are real, mm. even though I shrugged them off forever. Yeah. It's just once you finally unlock, like, okay, ghosts are real, it's done. You just drop that stubbornness. Yeah. Everything changes, you know? Damn, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Man. So you yep. throw me a bit, few bits of wood and uh, I'll, uh, I'll prep you for mine. All right. So I have an interesting one. All right. Get you some wood. What is that? I have no idea. Well, you heard something? Yeah, bang up. Yeah. I don't know. So, you remember my old flat? Your old flat? Yeah, do you remember the, the first one you came around to? In 20, yeah, yeah, I know that. I know that with the red carpet and stuff. Yeah, and uh, no, the red sofa. Yeah, red sofa. So, uh, you remember that place. So, I moved into um, my flat my old flat in 2008, uh, specifically the 3rd of September 2008, um, I got the place, my um, first child was born, right? So I moved in there with with um, my ex-partner and him, and things were kind of normal for like three months. And uh, we start, just after Christmas time, uh, January rolled around, and we started having really weird things happen in the house. Um, one time, 
my oldest was uh, Logan. We'll call him Logan. He was in uh, he was in his cot, right? And I was sat there on the sofa. I was watching, funny enough, American Pickers. I always remember it. And uh, he had a, like a, there was a table in the corner with like toys, and there was a box of toys underneath, all le electronic ones. They were like these little cards. You'd press the front windscreen on them, the VTEC ones, right? In a whole set. And um, I was sat there watching it. And next minute, every toy in that box went off. Really? Every toy. And you have to press the button to make all the you toys have to go off. Press the button. But the <laughs> thing is, it wasn't just one. It was like six or seven in there, all went off at the same time. That's See, really I could believe cool. that too, because you're thinking about like ghosts can go through like electrical and frequencies. So why know. can't ghosts just make them all go off this with is, their energy? This, bear in mind, this is way before I did YouTube. You know, I was, yeah, of I course. wasn't doing YouTube. Um, and obviously that that was that was freaking us out. And there was a time where I came home. We'd been shopping. Came home. This was maybe three or four weeks later, and all the drawers in the in the kitchen were open. Every drawer. Yeah. Every drawer weird and I was like you know I'm just gonna try and ignore it and the final straw when we actually got a priest in my, my grandma's a what yeah no listen my grandma's a full-fledged Christian right proper Christian and um, I was I was watching Lost Boys in the living room and my ex was in bed and I could hear the screaming and I ran into the bedroom I remember she was pinned down on the bed looking at me screaming now a lot of people are going to say sleep paralysis, and it potentially could was be sleep it's scary. Paralysis. Yeah, but she was she was saying there was something sat on her, pinning her down, and she'd been trying to scream for about five minutes, and she couldn't. And obviously, I didn't really understand that back then. She didn't understand it, so we got that scared. We we got a priest in to bless the house. You never my, told me that one. No, my grandma came around. She came around and she put holy water everywhere. She gave me a Bible. She put a cru she brought me this bronze crucifix to put on the side. Um, and funny enough, after <coughs> that, there wasn't a great deal happened. The only thing that really happened after that is, and even like Charles will back me up on this. Charles came to live with me. So back to, in 2012, I was doing MMA a lot, and I had a friend Charles live with me. Some of you might have seen him on some videos, and there was constant footsteps through the hallway like just people walking through and that's about as crazy it got like nothing else really yeah. happened after that but yeah, yeah that, you saw her footsteps too yeah but that that got me like i was i was into paranormal before then but that started making me that was the first like real stuff i'd ever had happen dang so yeah, that's weird man. i've never that's told scary. that story online before i never heard that one yet no no you never told me that one either that's yeah. some crazy stuff all, all right. right so seeing as we're on the uh, topic of experiencing houses and stuff um so i had something similar this is the reason why i ended up starting youtube in the first place and in fact no even before youtube i was filming uh my uh, just random videos like for my own archive you know historical backlog of different locations on a mini dv tape you know the ones where you yeah i see the out vhs yeah yeah yeah. My dad was doing it, dude. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so I know. So I've I've still got like this box collection of like tapes from different locations all over the UK and stuff, but I never used to publish it. Um, but anyway, despite that stuff, what got me into the whole paranormal scene was uh, at my mother's house where it was myself and my, and my brother were living. The house was like crazy haunted. I used to witness things all the time, and I used to tell my mom, and she'd be like, "No, nah, no, nah, you know, you know." Just, just absolutely like dismissing what yeah, I've just yeah. reported and things like that. Anyway, so as years um, went on, different things used to happen, like seeing things and different aspects of paranormal and weird ghostly stuff. Anyway, there was this one time that th this is what literally like was the pff, the most mind blowing stuff ever and it freaked us all out. So one night about, well, well one morning, it was about five o'clock in the morning, I actually woke up with this pain in my, in my left leg and the way I can describe it was like this burning sensation. So I woke up and I remember waking up and everything at the time was like, it looked grayscale, you know, from like, you know, the, it's kind of like just going light, the moon's just going down, it's like that gray look. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice look. So anyway, I could see this incision in my, in my leg, right? And it was like wide open, but I could see right down into my bone, but there was no blood or anything like that. It was like this clean cut incision. I was like, you know, what's going on there? So I jumped out of bed and where my my wife door is the landing was here and my mom's bedroom was just here so it's literally a case of like two steps and you cross into the next room so i can remember walking out my room going across the landing which took it felt like eternity at the time it's like i was just walking so i opened um i went to mom's room and i just basically said to her mom i've just woke up i've got an incision in my leg and she turned around to me and said 
don't worry, you're probably just dreaming. So I'm thinking, what's going on here? So, so right, right, I'm gonna go get, get back in bed. So I went to the bathroom. So all of a sudden everything seems back to normal. I'm like, what's going on? But at this point in time, as I'm in the bathroom, my mum's thinking to herself, well, there's no weird stuff gonna be happening because it's nearly daylight, it's 5, 5 a.m. Mm. So anyway, I jumped back in bed. And it was days the old, you know, the old bubble TVs, the analog yeah. before it turned digital. Yep. So I turned the TV on, it was like BBC or something like that, early hours, whatever. Anyway, the TV just went completely grey into like that static image. Oh. And all of a sudden I started to hear this like sound like when, <laughs> no joke, right? <laughs> what? So, honestly, this is no joke. This is serious, weird stuff. So I'm hearing this sound and it's coming through my TV. Next minute. I feel like I'm all of a sudden like frozen in time and I'm trying to shout, but I can't shout. Next minute, my mum and brother come running into my room. They had this, the maddest experiences. So I'm hearing this, the, the sound that's going through the TV, which turns out to be my mum actually trying to make a sound because in her room, she has these three people or shadow figures holding her down. She can't get out, but she can hear me screaming. Just like what happened here. Yeah. Yeah. So she all, she, all my mum's thinking is they've got him. They've got him. That's what she said to me. So she's trying to get out of her bed. Anyway, my brother has got like two figures in his bedroom that are holding him down. He said the the sheets were like concrete and he couldn't get out. So anyway, we all come. They all come running into my bedroom and we're like, what the hell's going on? And then we're all back in real time all of a sudden. And this is like five, like like ten past five all of a sudden now after all this weird shit's happened. So. Yeah, we decided to, we, we, we don't come from a religious family or anything like that. And we decided that, well, my mum was trying to reach out to people, like, how do you get people to come and exercise the house? You know, it was like a massive call for help and no one had helped us out for absolutely ages. And about two weeks later, we had this open arms spiritual priest who came around, blessed the house with, um, with holy water, went in the garden, the shed, the garage, everywhere on the property, splashed holy oil everywhere, said prayers, and that literally, bro, that was it. Really? Nothing happened ever since. And that's so that like, that, a lot. that was like 2006, 2005, yeah. 2006. And nothing ever happened ever, ever since that. Damn. But to this day, my mum will, will go to bed at night time with a prayer card on Holy Water and she is not religious in one way. Dang, that's Weird, a crazy that's story. Scary. Yeah, Holy I mean, that's shit. that's why I'm, I'm on YouTube today. Yeah. Because, because of like, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, well, you put our stories to shame. <laughs> yeah, mine was all innocent and just learning and yours is like <laughs> devil dark art shit. Yeah, bro, but but I'll tell you what, to this day, we all say it was like an alien experience more than it was alien. a ghostly experience. Mostly an alien. Because everything was like clinical and gray. And when you look back at it, it was like everything was time stretched and odd. Yeah. Weirdest stuff ever, bro. I mean, how, how do you explain the, the incision? Yeah. Like some sometimes I've not had it in a while now, but sometimes I'll get that feeling. Right. From that from that very night. Dang, that's strong. Weird, bro. Super strong. Weird stuff, man. Time to get this torch. Oh, here we go, boys. Now, I've never had these ones before, so I, I don't know what they're going to be like, but hopefully they're good. I don't know if they're going to be good or not, but I'm going to eat it. Oh, they'll, no, they'll be good, but I just don't know if they're going to be the best. Oh, Close true. Things. I don't think, uh, we're having a campfire, I don't think they're going to taste that good. No, you'll be surprised. The ones I cooked, the ones I cooked from Tesco's were banging. Is it? Yep. Well, I'll eat whatever. If it's free, it's for me, they say. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Too well, Josh. Yep. I guess I'm a bit over there. Good. Yeah, get that on top of there, bro. Oh, snap. Yeah. There you go. Dang, this yeah. is good. We'll just build it up, man. So you, you can put some around it? Yeah. Dude, I like this. I like going out and camping now. Yeah, <laughs> no. This ain't that bad. You're converting him. For real. Now you can say, I'm a real boy. <laughs> I'm a boy scout now. Maybe one on the other side. Yeah, that's enough for now. Okay. You don't, you don't really want it on this side because it'll melt the handle. Now, Carl, now what do you think can happen tonight just because we're sleeping underneath the gallows? I don't know, I mean, anything's possible at this point in time, if you think about it. Like, we're sleeping underneath the gallows. 
the thing about the residual energy that's on the stone within, you know, at the, the, the stone pillows itself. Uh, we've got the hanging beam as well. I don't think that's obviously from 1700s, but even even still, all around here, you know, if we are gonna see some ghosts, it's probably gonna be like, you know, see where the lines are on the pillars. Yeah. Obviously, the bodies must have dropped down through like a, a trap door, and I'm guessing you'd see residual stuff from like about here. Obviously, it's a body height kind of thing. Yeah. So who knows? We could be in the tent. All of a sudden wake up and just see legs dangling above our heads. Jesus. Yeah, bro. Do you know what I mean? Anything's yeah, you're possible, right. man. You're right. No, anything is. Yeah. I mean, resid residual stuff, like... Yeah. So it's rare you see ghosts. It, yeah, it's super rare. But so who's to say... In here or... Well, anywhere in the world, do you know what I mean? Like, people believe that, you know, when you go ghost hunting, you're kind of looking for Casper the ghost and you're going to communicate with it and be friends with it. Right. You know, but it's never, it's never really the case. It's very rare you capture actual apparitions of spirits or entities or whatever it may be. But tonight might be the night yeah. that we're in the tent and then next minute there's just some legs dangling right in front of Jesus. us. Like, yeah. So what uh, Carl said too, and what we think is like, there was like a platform, a wooden platform, probably about right here or something, and then it would drop. And that's when, you know, the witches you know, we're hung right there. So, I mean, again, it is very, it's a very dark uh, topic, but it's all around our history books, including in Salem and everywhere else. So we can talk about it. Um, fire and everything is hot. The food is getting ready. Things are looking pretty good from here. It's looking pretty good. Food's always good, especially on a cold night like this in the Black Forest. So what'd you just say again? Uh, we only have almost... one spoon. Oh yeah, well, I don't have any forks. We've got one spoon, so we're going to basically have to drink the tortellini like it's soup out of um, one of the containers that I've got. So, you know, it's still going to go down a treat here on this super cold, windy night in the Black Forest. So three guys in one spoon. Listen, three guys, one spoon. What could go wrong? <laughs> the moment I've been waiting for. Yep. Well, it's not ready yet. We've still got a little step to go. But Come on. Add the sauce. Come on. Store bought, by the way, it's not fortunately not homemade. You know, I would like to have made homemade, but no, I like this. Cheeses. I'll take it. Right, and the, the one spoon we have. Oh, that it folds in. Oh my god, oh. no! Could just take turns, you know, eating. <laughs> now, normally you wouldn't really add sauce to the pan. You would have the sauce made separately, but you know, we're trying to survive out here. That's it. Dude, this is turning into like a freaking cooking show. It is. <laughs> hey, cooking with fighters. Welcome, everyone. We're just, we're just melting the cheese now. This is my retirement program. My five-year step, <laughs> step plan now. This is it. This is under the gallows, though? The celebration under the gallows? Oh, boy. It's pasta time. And I have one spoon. Don't know what I'm going to do. I'll just figure it out. I've been waiting all day for this. Pasta with the boys. Yeah. Can't beat that. that. Steaming away. All right, boys, this is how we're gonna have to do it. We've got- One each. <laughs> we've got this little container here. Now this is stringy cheese stuff. Real business going on here. But stringy just, cheese. I just don't know how you're gonna eat it, but we're gonna, we're gonna make do, boys. The way you slap it on is like dog food or like, Take, here you go, kids. I promise you, this is not going to taste like dog food, guys. Yeah, bro. Look at that. Just, here you go, kids. I should work in a cafeteria. Yeah. Just yeah. not those kids. Serving us with this. Dan just cruising around the school with a massive metal ladle, slamming it on the table. Oh, we lost like... one. Oh, that's okay. That's for the the executioner here. Yeah. Yeah. Less talk, more eating. Yeah. All right, there's more available if you need it. All right, there you go. Um, executioner. Some... Okay, is it hot, hot? Yeah, it's hot, man. It's hot. Careful, man. Oh, it is hot. Wow. How? There's no way we can eat this. Oh! <laughs> like we I said, gonna... there's more. There's more if you want it. Yeah, there's more, but we have no. We have none to eat it with. Ah! That's hot. Oh, ma'am. I can confirm it's good. Well, if Josh says it's good, it must be. It's good. Yep. All right, let's try it. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Honestly, though, camp is not that bad. Wait a minute, I might have to, might have to figure some out here. See, if I had a camp, I'm gonna work this out. And put a tent up myself, and do the fire, 
and cook, I wouldn't like camping. But when I have people that know what they're doing, I like camping. I just wanna let everyone know that the diet is now starting today, by the way. No more sugar, no more pumpkin spice, no more anything. The pumpkin spice is now over. Halloween is officially pretty much done. It is November, no more pumpkin spice. It's time to get on the diet. It's time to finally lose weight. It's time to take it to the next level. You know, I actually just can't get over our tent and our view. Like it's a red tent, glistering in the forest, just glowing above the gallows. When I turn my lights off, I literally can't see you guys. Except like your phone, but when yeah, it's off, it's, I, I, it's all, man, it's yeah, like right in front of my face. It's pitch black. Look at that. Now here you are. <laughs> if I go to 100, here you guys are. Oh, he's, what the hell, Dan? I'm trying to take a picture. I didn't even know. <laughs> Jeez. I see someone, guys. There's a car stop down there. Okay. He's slowing down. I can hear him. It's alright. Yeah, come here. Shh. I don't know what's going on, Bob. Oh shit. I'm filming. Yeah, I heard I seen him. Yeah. So guys, you can see his headlights. Can you see him? Hang on, I gotta yeah. got someone creeping around right now. His car's going back down. Like, we don't know who it is in the black forest in the middle of nowhere. Let's try to drive up there. Down. Yeah. Oh, they're going down. Now they're leaving. <clears throat> oh, yeah. What is that? It's a truck. I'm following him with my car. You seen the red lights flicker? He's leaving now. Yeah, what happened then? What the fuck? Yo, that was so weird. <gasps> what the Bro, what the hell just happened? Dude, that scared me. That was weird. We are in the middle of nowhere right now and the car's just tried to drive up here. Dude. Dude, I seen the car and I was like, guys, we're being followed. And like, I had no lights on, so I wasn't sure, but he pulled right up, up here. Right up, I hope the headlights, you've seen it, cause it's really dark. I have my camera on like a different setting. And dude, I don't know if you guys seen it or not, but he was up here and he just drove away. He's gone, yeah, he just dipped. I mean, I, can't, I filmed the whole thing from the beginning. I did a hit on a bush over there. I seen, yeah, I got you <laughs> over there. You're like, boys, come here. We're like over there. <laughs> Shit. What the hell was that about? I don't know. It was so weird. He tried to drive up the pathway, though. Dude, he was trying to come right up here. <gasps> and then, remember, there's a guy's coat here, too. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Some random coat is left here, too. Just saying, pointing that out. Yeah. That's the start of a horror movie right there. Yeah, that's the first weird encounter we've had in Germany so far. Yeah, that was like a weird one like that. I mean, that. for all we know, we could've, he could've pulled up, seen an English number playing and thought, you know, I'm not dealing with these hooligans, I'm going on. <laughs> or, he might be going to get back up. Nah, that's it, could enough. be. Honestly, he could be getting back up. I don't know, man. We've already done a lot of videos here where we know people do weird in this forest. Yeah. yeah. Just saying, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if they were up, up here to do something. I don't know, but they're gone now, but what the hell? I, I hope they're gone now. I think we should go down to look. Did they drive off? Yeah, they drove off. They tried to. They drove up behind the car, reversed, and and just basically drove off. See, this is why we should keep the fire down, maybe. Yeah, we should just knock it out. Let's let it just die down. Actually. Yeah. It's, you gotta watch out because you just don't know. You know what I mean? That was really weird. No one comes here. This ain't even like a campsite or anything. So, very odd. I ain't getting seen first. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll let them explain it. Yeah, I think the mood is now set where we actually start investigating because that already freaked us out. Let's get started. All right, so right now we are gearing up to start our ghost investigation. We got cat balls all aligned here. We got his REM pod, my REM pod, um, his 360 device that can detect people from, you know, going around in circles. Well, it's not... It's... For some reason it's not detecting. Oh. oh, there it goes. All right, there it goes. Yeah, so like I said, we got a lot of stuff set up. I have music boxes, but before we even set those up, we're going to be roaming around. Yeah, there it goes. It works. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if that was up because it was facing behind the forest. And it just looked like it went around, you see? Yeah. That's weird. That's us. But it did just attack. It went, someone was like, yeah, it went around. So I'm not sure. 
And it's weird because there really, it does look like there's a path down there as well. Can we venture that way then? Or that way? I'm not sure how deep this forest goes, but I mean, I mean, we could go down there or down there. We know there's bodies somewhere, but we don't well, know where. They could be anywhere. They could be where we're stood right now, or they could be further down. So yeah, I reckon we turn on the Alice box yep. and we walk around and see if it can either guide us or if we can get it to say which. Yeah, which would be crazy. I have my Deer 60 as well. Of course, I have that on me every day, and I love my REM pod as well. Hasn't went off this whole trip though, but it's always now. Oh, you know what we should do? Maybe introduce ourselves now and ask if there's a way you, they want us to go. Yeah, okay. We could start, I mean, I guess right here. Yeah, yeah let's do it. My God, my light's oh, super bright, but. It? I wonder where these trucks are going. Well, all right, let's do it right now. And you go first. Hi, my name's Dan. I mean you no harm at all we are here i am from the uk and um we've heard a lot about about yourselves i've done a lot in pendle hill with the pendle witches and um if you would like to come out and communicate i would be ultimately grateful <clears throat> so let's cut myself yeah loose 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 is in like loosen the, the net rope maybe? Yeah, that's it, maybe. Yeah. Loose. Loose. So my name is Carl. I've also traveled from the UK to speak with you tonight. We come with the most up respect, love and light. And we're we're sad to hear what had happened here. When you was wrongly accused of any wrongdoing. We technically don't know they're wrong. They could have well, been I mean, a lot of witches, obviously, you know, but back in the day, it was just like kind of like you never know. Well, you never know. They could have been bad, could have been evil. You just don't know, dear. Do nope. But obviously, back then, they thought witchcraft was just like the, the pits of the earth, isn't it? Evilness, dark, demonic. My name's Josh, and I'm just here to figure out your story. Figure out if you were a witch or not. I know you were wrongly accused. I assume so, but if you weren't, show me your magic if you're a witch. Let me know how powerful you are. I would like to know. For me. For me. For me. Oh, for me. For me, as soon as I said that. Mm. You, you literally said, show me your magic for me. Yeah. You're, she's saying for, for me. For me, I know. Well, That's I'm, weird. I'm assuming it's a she. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Do you want us to stay here? Or do you want us to roam around? Nope. Road. 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 This is the road. I mean, obviously, they wouldn't be that road back in the day. It would only be like... No, it would be a great... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But saying that, a lot of the old uh, trail roads that they used, they tarmacked and used them. Yeah, because they... Them. Yeah, because they would always use... This. Somehow, the ancient us knew how to navigate through the, through the roads. Like, they made the roads. Yeah, but don't forget also on this hill, do you know what I mean? It was this gals was placed where it is so people can walk past it and, and it's like a reminder of like to stay in line, don't like mess up or do anything bad because you'll end up on the gals. Yeah, it was like, right it, was there. like a, it was a statement. I could know. have been, all, it could be an old set. trade route or yeah, you know, yeah. they'd have a little, a little wandering traders, yeah, you know, yeah. it looks like fable, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can follow us. If you are right, we will go down this road. Just let me know. Oh, had a little spike for a minute. That went red for And if you could, one second. we would love you to be able to say which through this. This would then we know you were speaking with yourselves and no one else that could be haunting this land speculating. Yeah, yeah. But what, what I'm saying is if we can get some credible All things right. like no, which this. hung. If there's someone here we'll ask right now as we go down the road. Right. Just really quick. Ready? What's that red light? Run pause. Alright. Okay. I'll do it. So it's just a couple. Just a quick one, yep. Okay. One, two, three. Do you want us to go down this road? What was you hung for? Are you one of the witches from the Black Forest? Do you want us to stay here under the gallow? How many bodies are buried here? Could you give us a sign? Whoa. Are you kidding me? Something just went off when you said, could you give us a sign? I don't have a 
the flux pump. I have, flux. The, I have it in my hand. So what was that then? I don't know. How was that? Let's just give it some space there. Oh, oh, that, oh. Our, no, that's, that's well, that's us now. That's now us. Before? That wasn't as that. soon as you said give us a sign it wasn't beep. that noise no no the, it could have been that noise but but before but now it doesn't matter because now we're triggering the noise before we weren't when we were over there and it said could you give us a sign it went off it went off all right, all right yeah that's us now yeah well remember that's a 30 30 yard yeah, 30 yard radius yeah. or something sure it's like 50 yards. let's listen to that evp oh yeah we'll get Gosh. that come on that you can't tell me that was you can't no that, that was a that. sign 100 yeah, well, yeah okay you might even hear it on the audio Alright, here we go. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit on edge, like... That was crazy. Do you want us to go down this road? What was you hung for? Are you one of the witches? Fuck, it says something. It's still fast. Alright, I got it now. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. Do you want us to go down this road? What was you hung for? Are you one of the witches? Are you one of the witches from the Black Forest? Do you want us to stay here under the gallow? How many bodies yeah. are buried here? Six! Six? Right. It sounds like six, but it six. should be two. Could you give us a sign? We need to listen to that carefully, put it against your ear, but it says, it says it something said, I don't It says six it says. or fifteen. Yeah. But don't forget that it was only documented two. Yeah. And documented fifteen people. I th well, I think it says two on the sign, right? Or yeah. is it says the bodies of all the people died? That's why I don't know. Mm. Either way, either way, it said it's a number. Sounded mm. like six. We thought two. I don't know. Oh. Oh, bang. bang right here. What is that? Sounds like drums. Yeah, it does. It sounds like... Bro, no ritual stuff take, is taking place here, does it? I don't know. Right. We had a car pull up, so our car dipped. Now yeah. we're hearing drums in the distance. The it could be residual, though. That's what I mean. Could be. I mean, everything's probably base, residual. So I don't know if the cameras are. Off, no, remember though. Even in the in the U.S., when we go through like native bear, like bear grounds and stuff, always you can hear drums from the really? past. It's just all residual. <gasps> Heard it again. Bro, it's like so much walking around. I think like that banging with here is kind of like the trap door is like it, could, it be could be anything. yeah it could be anything, anything. You know it I mean? could even very well be a car that's the thing you don't know no, it's not a car. It's not I don't think it sounds like a car either but I'm just saying we'd hear it on the road stopping yeah. Yeah. I mean it could be the trap doors like maybe it's like making the amount of sounds according to the amount of people that were executed here yeah like, boom, boom, you know, time. do you think we should go more down there yeah it's weird though because when you asked for a sign, it wanted us almost stay here. I know. I Let's ask again. Too. Let's ask again. We're about to start walking down that road, but if you can make that device or something go off and give us a sign, we'll stay up here. Oh, oh my god, we got it on camera. It wants us to stay here, I, boys. That's two signs to stay here. Two signs to stay here. We're staying here. We've got to. We're staying here. Well, we, we could do some stuff around the tent and then don't forget. We can zip, get in the tent, zip the tent up and then see what happens on the outside yeah. while yeah. it comes. Well, remember, up. that's what happened to us exactly. in the first episode. Dude, two signs to stay? Get the heck out, I'm staying here. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, oh, oh that's, that's, that's us. All right, that's, that's us. us. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> That, all right, yeah, because when we get to this part, that's us. When we're down there, that was not us. Obviously, we didn't even move on that. That was the first sign. What? There, there. There's a light in the bush. I seen it. I seen it. That's a car coming up, I think. Yeah, it's a car. Okay, now at least we can debunk and know that. Okay. I mean, we should take that off. Yeah. <clears throat> so that is something we should put. Actually, no, we kind of can't put Cut it Couple again. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's good. He's standing right here. All right, that's a good sign. All right, boys. Well, it brought us back here. That's two signs. We're here now. We're here to talk to the people that were executed right here. 
If any of you can come forth and give us a sign to, so we know that you're here still, like you just did earlier. What the whoa, 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 whoa. Something like a owl. It was a like, oh. I don't know. You don't hear that, Josh? At the moment, I was just thinking it's about what, I, what to say to the ghosts. Can you touch one of our devices again, like you did earlier? Nor. Nor. No. Nor. Ignore. Ah, nor. No, I've never, never, uh, never heard it. It's not German or anything, is it? I don't know. No. Nor. Burning. That say, that say burning. It said burning, and it said alive. Oh burning my God. alive. Burning alive. See, I was like, it's saying something, and you went to record because you want to get. I was like, yo, something big's coming. Right, we got, we got. I just got to clarify why we stopped recording. Then there was a I kept the recording. Past. Oh, did you? Muse. 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 But burning. Burning alive. alive. How are you gonna get that right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we were talking about yeah, them. Remember, yeah. we're wondering if the fire is going to affect you? Yeah. Were you burnt alive here as well? Let's ask. Maybe you can scream. History. 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 Yeah, History. This is all making more sense. Can you shout to us? Just to confirm that you are with us. It can be anything. Say something loud. Soldiers. 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 Yeah, yeah. Because it says something about uh, Joseph. Somebody. Yeah. Would, would no, have been, it would have been escorted right. by soldiers to this point. Look, look at the executioner's name, though. Carnifix. Tremonda. Tremonta. 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 What do you call his name? Carnifix. Yeah. Because that's the person that yeah. killed everyone. Are you here? That's gonna rile up everyone. We're here to speak to Carnifix. Or if you don't like Carnifix, now's your chance to tell us. I recorded. I didn't know you were here. Recording. No, I know. I just did to see. Or if you don't like Carnifix, now's your chance to tell us. Whoa, what the hell was that? The hell? The, dude, that was like. That was like what was that? Get out of here? Like screaming yeah, at like, us. Like, like burning. Screaming. Yeah, yeah. No, I sounded weird. Let's do all right, let's do another one right yeah, here. That's quiet one. Now we'll properly ask, because this is what they wanted us anyway. That was weird. Alright, ready? One, two, three. Alone. Carnifix, do you want us here? Carnifix! Are there witches actually here? You're around us now. I'll stop it there. So it was like someone breaking in the woods. I heard like no, a whistle. I, no, no, when I, when I said, when I screamed, we stayed silent, and someone went, Yeah, like, hissed like, us. It was like something that hissed us. Yeah, yeah, but then it was something in the distance. Yeah, it sounded like making a weird sound. All right, let's play about. No, what was that? Was that not one of us? I thought that was Carl. Just rewind, you rewind. said, what is that? No, I think that was Carl. Yeah, it was Carl. Was it, got was that, that yeah. Yeah. Silent. yeah, that was you. Because I had it in my head when you talked, like, all right, he's going to say yeah, something. What did it say? It's in the, it's in the trees. What happened? It said AU, and then it said behind. Behind? Okay, so Alice Box has just said AU behind. But wait, didn't we hear the, the sound coming from behind the tent? Yeah, but my music box is over there. Yeah. If you can go over there, you can play some music. Oh my god! Red pod! That never goes off! Never! Get a bit closer to it, please. If you can't- Yes! Yo, yellow! Get closer. Dude. Yes! Oh, blue! Green! <laughs> Levita Levitation! Levitation! Levitation, it's just gone off. No, it's going red! Else is going off. What, uh, what, uh, it's just- uh, Bro, it's draining the battery! It's Holy just died. Fuck. No way. Oh my god. Levitation. It went levitation. off. Levitation. Behind Dude. levitation. We're just being watched by the by yeah. someone. Well, at maybe least. they were just because you were hanging, they were levitating Levitate. almost. Yeah, exactly. That well that that was what I was thinking, to be fair, but yes. The box, they must be exactly they're after energy. 
So that's done now. Do you need some more energy? Bro, my camera batch is oh. dropping down fast. Yo, I've gone from 26 Underline. to 19%. Underline? Underline. I wonder if that's like right literally under here. Under the line. I'm just looking to see. I don't use this too often. Yeah, but... my batteries like drop down from 26 to 19% just like instantly. So I wonder if they just robbed our energy yeah, for a well, bit. I'm guessing they're going to try and manifest some stuff. Well, wait and be, show yourself. That was amazing. Oh, I almost stepped on my cat ball. That was me. Hopefully don't break. Can you stand in front of us again? Lock. Lock? Lock. Do you need help? Or are you the executioner? All right, let's, let's just run a bit of spirit box, see what we got on this. Portal? What was that? Portal or something? What took place here? Behind, behind? Behind us. Behind. behind. I heard behind again. What's behind? Oh, oh. Nice no, train or something. Behind. Was you, you led behind the gallows and then walked onto the platform to your execution? Or was you buried behind? Oh, I forgot. Yes, that people are buried here. Yeah. So, if you were buried behind here, can you say buried? The honor. The honor. The on I said honor. Say honor. Yeah, the honor. Just what yours says. Yeah, yeah. Honor. British. British angry. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What the f is going on? British angry. You can't oh even make god. this up. I knew, dude, this place oh is god. crazy active. I'm they guessing tried. you're angry that we're here. The British. And they said they want to execute us in a way, if you think about it from what we were saying. Don't forget about then. This is their it land. It wasn't even America, so yeah, they're classing you in it now. Yeah, this You're is their land. <laughs> they're going back to 1600. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're still stuck in it too. That's the thing. So you're going to tell us what happened? Why? why you, what was you executed for? Kick the door. Kick the door. Burning. I heard burning again. Burning. Can you say which? Do you need help? Get out. Get out. Behind. It said the English. I heard it, say English. it said the English. I thought it was like behind and then obviously the English. It said behind the English. Behind it said the behind the English. Which one? Because Josh is now a, now a British officer. <laughs> should, I, should, I, should we get deeper? Like ask for deep questions? I reckon, so we don't have any contaminations, we do the rest in the tent, them, them DR60s. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because that, remember yeah. last time when we started doing it in the tent, it, we were getting the best responses. Yeah. yeah. Let's do that. All right. Just head inside the tent, see what happens. Well, hang on, let's see if there's someone here that... You never know, right? So far, nothing on the sides. Is there anything else you want to tell me before I turn this off? Anything else? Go. Oh. Monica. 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 Was that Monica. someone's name Could back have been. in the day? Yeah, maybe. I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how old that name is. Yeah, I don't know either. Could be nothing. Yeah. Could be I absolutely nothing. We could ask on a DR anyway. We could, yeah, we could ask on a DR. So what do you think? Do you think, why, do you guys want to go in? People. 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 Hmm. All right, guys, so what we're doing, we are setting the flux right here behind the tent with the music box behind because we're in the tent we hear like let's say the flux goes off or something goes off that's gonna get scary knowing someone's behind us while we're in the tent and then again we have music boxes on the corner on the each side we are all locked and loaded for tonight oh feels like just yesterday just chilling in the tents music oh, box. no way it's all right Still going off? 
Legit, still going off. That's weird. Like, could it be this? No. That could mean anything, but it seems like someone's standing right outside. I'm gonna reset it just in case though, but that is weird. This is it, round two. Yeah, I'm enjoying these tent sessions. If you guys are enjoying these tent sessions, let me know too. It's crazy because I don't have a camera in the back. So even if the flux goes off, I can't I can't see it because I actually don't have a camera. I wasn't thinking. It's weird. Right. I can start it off because we've just got to let's do like five minutes silence. Okay. Just sit here record. See what happens. Yeah. <gasps> music box. Something just triggered the music box. Are you mad that we're under the gallo? Do you want us hanging from this gallo? He's walking around. It's getting closer. 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 Oh, 360 REM 360 REM pod, that is not us. He just, he's walking around. Or she, or someone. If you're the executioner, can you try to set it off one more time? Walk around this, this tent, around the gallows. Or if you're one of the witches, can you walk around the gallows? <gasps> oh, oh. That's walking around. What's that? That's my triangle. The flux. Yep. So they're walking around. So he's gone, he's gone past the, down that way. Yeah, it's done a three. It's done a three sixty around our tent. So, what if it is the execution or one of the one? Of the that's, what, yeah, that's what I don't know. I have this thing too. EPs, well. Not that it might not matter, Can't but it could be a lot of devices around us. But I'll keep it here in case. Show us how powerful you are, executioner. Make every device go off. Hurt us if you can. We're about to do some witch, black magic witch rules. Witchels. <laughs> Witchels. Yeah. That's Boston for rituals, guys, by the way. <gasps> What's oh. that? Joe Rambard! He's never gone off before. <gasps> Holy oh, and now another yeah, one! Yeah, yeah, bro, it's going around us. That was your rempod. That was my rempod. That never went off once ever. That's never gone off since we've even done it. I've been talking about every trip how it never goes off. And I just asked, I just said I'm about to do some black magic witchels. And it went off. That's Right, let's say, say, we'll make the REM pod go, make the REM pod go, make the blue light happen again if you're like an executioner or someone. Right, yeah. If you're really the executioner or a witch, make that device go off again. Oh, oh my god. No. Bro. Holy. So I can show that th that's legit happening right now. So they understand us and know. Yeah, no, they understand. They're trying to hurt us? Maybe, maybe, maybe try to get another reaction. Can you do that again if you, if you wanna, if you wanna harm us? Maybe you wanna see all three of us strung from the gallows right now, let us know. Fucking hell. Set that device off if you do wanna- Oh, oh my, my god, god oh bro. Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, oh my god, oh, no, fuck. No. You said you wanted us to be yeah, hung so, from bro, the gallows and it just went off. Bro, the execution wanted us to string us up right now. Serious. I we shouldn't be here. Like, we, we shouldn't have done this. This is a bit of a bad idea. I'm glad we're doing it, but I'm also not glad we're doing it. Yeah, you want to see if we can talk to it's, him? It's weird that we're, like, right in this tent. Music box. Dude, what was that? Did you hear shaking? Oh, my God. Dude, I, feel like so I heard something else now. Like super yeah, like bang then. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. I'm hearing shaking. Oh, my God. Okay. <gasps> whoa, whoa, flux. Flux again. It's going around our tent, guys. Sure. Everyone knows the flux sound. It says beep. That's the long beep. That's the flux I just put down there. We know he's going around in circles. But the REM pod, I've never had the REM pod go off. Now I know this is legit him, the executioner or witch. This is very well happening. They understand us. We're about, We're about to, to be doing some magic. black magic witch. Oh, oh, it's going off. Yes. But no, that's scary. That 
is absolutely insane. All right, so c can you set it off if you don't want us to leave because you want to kill us? Um, should we try a DR60? Yeah. The responses are too good. Exactly. Yeah. Responses are way too good. Let's get for real. And that's right here. Let's go. All right. Tell me your name. Is there someone walking around us now? Are you a witch walking around the tent? Why does the executioner want to kill us? I think we have something there. Because when you asked the why do you kill us part, it was going off where I was able to see it. Might have, might have got something. Interference. Tell me your name. I've never had that happen. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes. I couldn't make out the end at all. So it's a witch and not the executioner. So that means the witch is pissed. And wants yeah, revenge. We've been mocking black magic, that's why. Oh, f mm. Same we're gonna do black magic. That this. makes sense. Let's ask now. Okay. Are you the witch that died here? Was you wrongly accused of being a witch? Can you perform black magic? Can you tell me what year it is? Was that you just screaming then? Are we going to die here tonight if we sleep under here? Can you tell me the name of your coven? Okay, let's figure it out. I was so focused on this. Are you the witch that died here? Or is she wrongly accused of being a witch? Can you perform black magic? Can you what tell that? me what year it is? Was that you just screaming then? Your pause up was good. <laughs> <laughs> See that was witchcraft right there. Under here. No, it's wrong. Right. There was definitely something. Alright, hang on. Are you the witch that died here? Or is she wrongly accused? Can you perform black magic? Can you what the? What Hang on. All right, let's all get up to it. The black magic thing was like yeah. five words, like how they could or could not do it. We don't know yeah. what it said. If there's anyone here now, come forward and use the device in my hands to speak with us. More two. Death. Die. Die. Yeah. If you want us to die, can you say die? Don't, touch don't push me, me. Don't, don't, touch, touch. don't touch, don't touch, don't push me. What was the last words of the victims? Don't push. Don't push. Summon the prophet? What? Hung, hung, hung. 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 Were you hung here? Sounds like it says at night. I oh, know. Gwenso, tell us why was you hung? Black magic. It says that. It says black magic. Are we okay to use black magic here? Never. 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 Rituals. It Rituals. Says. Rituals. Mm -hmm. 
Did they leave? Or no? You get some, we can get some good stuff out of yeah. it. Yeah. The crazy thing is, is obviously we're in Germany. It's skipping fast through radio stations. We shouldn't be getting English words. Oh, that's, what I mean. that's, yeah, that's the thing, yeah, and we were getting some. That's yeah. why. This is it. Every time I've been to places all over the world, it's just English. Every time. But that's the theory. Obviously, the theory is when you die, everything's infinite and understandable and relatable in all sorts of ways. That is I know. The that's, I know. I, th I think the universal language is a thing for sure after doing our Japan thing. So I do yeah, think yeah. it's true. 100%. Yeah. Maybe we should go outside and just check. Everything's all good. Yeah. Now I just got no weirdos like taking all the cameras away now. <laughs> we go outside and our equipment's gone. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? I mean, see I, it uploaded on some like German channel. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're live streaming us Yo, while we're in here. Oh, that'd be so weird. That's yeah. nasty. Can you imagine that? No. We just like clicked on YouTube now. Someone sent you a link. And you, it's just it's just us in a tent and we're watching it live, thinking who the is outside filming us. Oh god, don't, don't, that's some no. social shit. Wait, say, that yeah, is. Yeah, no, it's hostile. That. You know, hostile. Or saw, yeah. <laughs> so really quick, the fire was gonna die, so we ended up using all the rest of the firewood. Yeah. Gathered up some stuff. We're gonna get back in this tent. Whoa! And this is where we're kind of just gonna set up the freaking sleeping bags and just see how this ends up. If we're gonna sleep peacefully tonight, or is the witch who's angry at us gonna haunt us the whole night? Oh yeah. Oh no. Well, here it is. Three man, one bag. Well, technically we've got two sleeping bags, so we should be alright. Well, we got the, the sleeping bag on the floor and then it took one over us. Yeah, we managed last time. Yeah, that's how we do it. Yeah. You guys are sick bastards sleeping in this shit. <laughs> I mean, they're just as sick as us right now. I know. You're a sick bastard, man. Shit. Why do we do this again? I know, we did it like this last time now. Actually, I have nice pillows. I got my pillow jacket, so I sleep pretty good here. I feel like I'll sleep soon, though. Yeah. I, it gets When you lay down, it, it does get comfy, though. Yeah. That's the thing. Every time, it does get comfy. I'm not a camper, but, like, it is not bad at all. What was that? What was that fat bang? What the? I don't know. Ah! Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Come on, man. <coughs> <coughs> Why am I coughing now? <gasps> That's what I mean. There's someone running the finger across the fucking thing. Get out of the tent. Fucking hell, what is that? Someone's running the finger. Hello? Oh my god. Right, I'm getting out. No, wait a minute. Someone ran the I know, I see that. You see it? Yeah, it's different from the wind. We the, the finger thing. It looks you can see it like, whoosh, and you can hear the sound. You can hear the sound. Yeah, it feels different from the the wind blowing. See, look, it stopped. Stop does that again? I'm getting out. You can't do that again. Oh my god. I don't know now. I mean, so far it's not happening again. No, dude. The first time was. Creepy. Second time, all right, maybe when, maybe not. Hard to say, but third time, I don't know. Keep our cameras rolling. Hundred percent. It's like someone. Want to keep it on my chest? Someone kicks us up first, and then it was literally someone running the fingers across. The yeah, the kick I you felt, and yeah, yeah, dude, true. With the fingers crossed, it did sound like that too. So. Is that someone's dog? Shit, Is someone shit, walking around? Someone's...
Okay. Oh, someone's outside. Someone's outside. Dude, the fingers ran across. That again, third time you heard oh, it. And then that the, just went out. Hello? Dude, someone's outside. I know. Open the fucking tent. Oh. Mm. Could have been the wind. Could have been open the wind. The it's, not, it's not the fucking wind, bro. That's someone banging on the fucking tent. How do you open it? Open it. Shoot, 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 shoot. He stood all in the fire. Oh shit. Dude, there's no one here. Oh shit. Fuck it. Fuck out of here. That was creepy. Bro, you stood on the fire. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, it was creepy though. No, there was someone banging on the tent. Someone went around the tent and started What made me definitely believe it though was after all that happened, the music box did go off. Yeah, but the water, there was that fucking noise. Like oh dog. yeah. Yeah, why was that dog there? Was that like someone walking their dog though? Because that's, that's weird too. Yeah, but bro. I have a ring in my air. This air. So I was kicking the tent. Someone kicked our foot. Ran the things like went around the tent. It was shaking the tent. There was something outside the tent. What the? Yeah, because look. See? That's how I know someone was here. Remember, you can only go off like that. That was real. I've got that camera right there rolling. I got my camera rolling. Yeah, bro. Oh my god. No, that was scary as shit. Yeah, no, that was that was super, super, super weird. It's like, part of me is like, I don't know, like. Bro, I'm just like shaking. I know, I know. Dude, there was someone. It's crazy. The tent right there. It's too scary. Like, it's kind of creepy, it's man. Creepy, yeah, I can't, oh, that's what I mean. It's kind of creepy. Dude, we're taking. Like, we're literally taking I'd, the piss. The thing is, here. I would happily. The here. dog thing freaks me out, and now I feel like now someone's gonna roll up on us at night. I feel like there's someone there. Let's pack up. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of business. Should we go down though? To see if someone's there first? No. Let's go all the expensive shit in the car. Okay. Dude, there was someone around the tent then. I know. So I would have to sleep here. It's the dog thing. Yeah, no, you made me nervous first. You made me nervous. I was okay until you started. The first time I was like, okay, okay, but. You listen, the dog thing like, is freaky yo, though. We had a reason to panic. It was like someone was outside. You don't yeah, know who's going to put an axe through us and start yeah, chopping us off. Yeah, up. I know. That's true. That's true. And remember the first thing, the, the car came up and rolled up the, the first time. Right, we on, got that on camera. Up. You know what I mean? In situations, yeah. you can't be too relaxed. All right, just, you know, putting everything out of here. Well, this is the first tent video we dipped out on together. Yeah. Have you guys ever dipped out on other ones? No. Yeah. Oh, he said yeah, and you said no. No, wait a minute. No, yeah, we'd actually rental him uh, on part two. We slept in the Dogman Forest and God knows what else. In the UFO Forest, we so, had to leave because it was shouting from the woods. Oh hell no! There was no. weird lights happening, so yeah. we just we just left, man, because it didn't no, feel it was, safe. Because no, again, Carl made me panic because there was weird noises. <laughs> no, there was weird noises coming from the forest, and it sounded like a person. He's going, it's a mimic, it's a mimic. I'm yeah, thinking, well, I'm it's known for mimics, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And he said, you shit it's deeper into the forest. It happened to my mate, bro. Yeah. He was like seducing me. He's like, we need to go that way. He's like, no, we don't. Yeah, no, I know. He's trying to go yeah. us into something bad. No, hell no. Well, like I said, we're getting out of here. Um. All right, so we're back at the... Uh, well, okay. So we just ordered a hotel for the night. Just because Hello? we got freaked out. We're working over the footage. But check this out. Watch this. Look at that. Literally, someone tapped it. I know. I didn't know it was this bag. Yeah. You can't do that again. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. It goes. What the fuck? There's someone running the finger across the fucking thing. I didn't realize it at the time. Someone's running the finger. Hello? Yeah, and then check this out. Fingers across the tip. Is that someone's. Around us now. Look at that, it goes all the way around. Oh my god. And then the music box goes oh, off. Someone's outside. Someone's someone outside. was literally doing it. It was the freaking witch. That again, third time you heard it. Was that? That was that and then the dog. I don't know, keep our cameras rolled. Time was creepy. Time was. 
Hundred percent. It's like someone. Want to keep it on my chest? Someone kicked us up first, and then I you could hear it go. It did sound. And then you hear the dog. What the fuck is yeah, we hear it. What the fuck? The hell is that? That's what I mean. That's some dogman shit, right? That's there. what I'm saying, though. What the fuck is that? Dude, well, I, I honestly convinced myself, though, because we heard that, and then I thought, wait a minute, we've been surrounded by like dogs or something, and I freaked out. Oh. I know, I know, you did, though. You did, but it makes sense now. The dog noise was like a physical noise. I'm like, well, let's get out of here. It's weird because there's no people, no, like, there's no houses in sight there yeah. but dude i didn't realize the whole the like the shoo, shoo, like the you can literally hear someone press against I, the tent i, I didn't know I it was that it was like so, crazy I, thought, I didn't know what it was i was just let down i didn't think anything of it wow and then the yeah. first time Oh my god. Oh, no wonder why you were so freaked out. Yeah. Bro, I was so in my own world for that minute. Hello? Yeah. You were right, dude. That is fucking scary. That was legit crazy. Because the first time, it was like legit like pressure, like the craziest tug on my on our, on our feet because someone like kicked the tent. I was like, okay, it could have been the wind. And the second time, I'm just not realizing it. But the, the, you can really see and, and you see the, 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 like someone's finger go up and down to the side. And then the dog goes off. And then another time gets hit. And then the, the freaking thing, I don't know, 360s it. And then it triggers the music box. That is crazy. Really freaky. Really legit. We're backing all the footage up, footage up as we speak. This is what it looks like here. It's a mess. But hey, we didn't stay the night, so here we are in this random cottage, all three of us. It's nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, we're not over yet. We got more information. Yeah, we're refilming. What happened now? So, do you know the last final part when someone smacks it and I'm like, no, just one. Yeah, and that's, and that's when the music box went off? Yeah. Okay. Now, watch this. Watch the tent, bro. Watch this. Something smacks the tent. You ready? Hello? Watch this. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Oh my god. What the hell? I can't wait to check my angle now. Look at that, bro. <laughs> Damn, that's a real force. Like, that's what I mean. God. That's insane. Because my angle was the other side. So if yeah. You can see it, so yeah, yeah. We need to. We need to look at your shit.